Hi there, David here once again, coming to you for B in Crypto. Today, we'll once more be taking a dive into one specific coin, explaining how it works and how you can mine it. In this case, we're talking about Ravencoin, a coin with a basis as a transaction coin, but with some unique features. We'll break down what Ravencoin is, we'll touch on the tokenomics, and then we'll walk you through the basics of how it can be mined. Of course, as always, this is not financial advice, and you should do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, with all that said, let's get right into the nuts and bolts of Ravencoin. Originally launched on January 3rd, 2018, Ravencoin, or Raven, is an open source blockchain protocol that allows for almost instant transactions between holders. Built on a fork of the Bitcoin code, the project uses the same unspent transaction output system as well as a proof of work consensus mechanism based upon the CawPow algorithm as opposed to Bitcoin's SHA-256 algorithm. At first, Ravencoin used the X16R algorithm and later upgraded to the X16R v2 on October 1st, 2019. Eventually, the network evolved again to the CawPow algorithm and may even continue to change as necessary to prevent the rise of ASIC and FPGA mining. This allows for more miners on the network, more competition, and thus, more decentralization. As mentioned, the Ravencoin blockchain is still proof of work, and hence still requires miners to solve what are basically computational puzzles, but the difficulty remains in the realm where most hardware is still capable of solving them. The blockchain even ensures that the puzzles don't increase too fast, which would eliminate a diversity of miners from the process. Currently, Ravencoin can still be mined with most NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. Ravencoin also has a variety of utilities outside of just transferring value. For example, tokens can be issued that represent real-life assets, such as goods, shares, precious metals, and more. Effectively, users can issue non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, on Ravencoin using the Mango Farm Assets wallet platform. Investors can even use a Binance Smart Chain tokenized version of Raven for borrowing, lending, and trading in DeFi. That all being said, Ravencoin is not a true smart contract platform, so be aware that its full range of possibilities is limited. Now, before we break down the mining process, let's take a look at tokenomics. Similar to Bitcoin, Ravencoin has a limited supply of 21 million coins. The project was not launched using an ICO or pre-mine event. A new Ravencoin block is created every minute, and currently the reward for a block is 2,500 Raven. A halving just occurred in January of 2022, and the next halving is set to happen in about four years, much like Bitcoin. Also like Bitcoin, this process will continue until all 21 million Raven has been mined. At the time that this video was written, the market value of one Raven was around seven cents, with a market cap of about $756 million. Okay, it's time to start mining Ravencoin. We'll be covering all the necessary steps to teach you how to get started. The main steps you need to go through are as follows. Get a Ravencoin wallet so you can receive mining rewards. Install mining software compatible with the CawPow mining algorithm. And lastly, select a mining pool. Keep in mind, you will need a GPU with at least four gigabytes of RAM. Okay, step one, get a Ravencoin wallet. As with most crypto mining processes, you'll need a wallet to send the rewards received from your mining. You can choose any of the supported Raven wallets or an exchange wallet, but we recommend the official Ravencoin wallet, Raven Core. We'll be using the Windows version. Be aware, many other popular Ravencoin wallet options exist and include Edge, Exodus, Mango Farm Wallet, Trust Wallet, and others. We'll link an official list of wallets for Ravencoin below so you can make your own decisions. Next, you need to install the software and set up a new wallet. As you do, make absolutely sure to secure your seed phrase in a way that it won't get lost or stolen, as this is the only way to recover your wallet later in case something happens to your device. However, that also means others can use it to access your wallet, so be absolutely sure it's safe and under your control. After you've created the wallet, it should look something like this, and now you just need to wait for Ravencore to synchronize with the blockchain. Next, you'll need to know the receiving address for your Raven. Go to Receive, Request Payment, and Copy Address. Now you'll have your wallet's recipient address. Note that you can add a label to this address to remind yourself that these are the rewards coming from Ravencoin Mining. Now step two, you'll need to download and install the mining software onto your device. Note that your OS might be triggered by the mining software claiming it to be malware. If you're using Windows, you may need to add an exception in Windows Security. To create an exception for the mining software, go to Windows Settings, then to Update and Security, then Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, and then click on Manage Settings and scroll all the way down to Add or Remove Exclusions. Click on Add an Exclusion and add the folder where you want to download and install the mining software. You'll be prompted to accept the security warning from Windows. Once done, you should be good to go on this front. Now let's go get the actual software. There's a variety of options that you can use for Ravencoin mining. There's Kapow Miner, which is free, open source, and designed for NVIDIA cards. Next is G Miner, 
which comes with a 2% developer fee and is also for NVIDIA cards. Then we have T-Rex Miner, this time 1% developer fee, also for NVIDIA cards. Don't worry AMD, because next is Team Red Miner, designed for AMD GPUs and comes with a 2% developer fee. Be aware this one is controlled via command line. To round it out, we have NB Miner and Nano Miner, with a 2% and 1% developer fee respectively, and both work for both NVIDIA and AMD cards. Today, we'll be using NB Miner, so your steps might be slightly different if using different software. Still, the basic premise is the same. Step 3. Choose any available mining pool. You can find the majority of the available pools on miningpoolstats.stream slash ravencoin, which of course we'll link to below. Go ahead and select a mining pool and click on it. This will take you to its website, where you can find all the details about the pool, including the mining pool's address, which you'll need in just a moment to configure the mining software. Step 4. Go ahead and download and unzip the files onto your computer. Inside of the folder, go to nbminer underscore win, and then find the start underscore raven dot bat file. Right click on the file and open it in a text editor to edit it. It should look something like this. Inside this file, you'll add your own Ravencoin address that you set up back in step one. You can also replace default with the name of your own mining GPU. In addition to your wallet address, you'll need the address of the mining pool that you should have acquired from the website of the pool. Copy the mining pool's address into the file now. The text in the file should look something like this. Save the file and close it. Step five, now it's time to begin. To start mining Ravencoin, simply double click on the start underscore raven dot bat file. It should look like this. Note you can see your effective hash rate here. Soon you should be able to check your mining pool website to see if your miner is properly working. Be aware that each pool has a minimum amount for payout, so it may take a while to see any rewards in your wallet. Keep in mind, as with other proof of work cryptos, you will need to determine how profitable mining is to your specific location and device. Each set of equipment has a different hash rate and power consumption, and the cost of electricity should be taken into account. You can use a Ravencoin mining calculator to determine if Ravencoin mining is a profitable business for you, which of course we'll link to below. By the way, maybe you don't want to mine, maybe you just want to buy some crypto. If that's the case, why not get it on the Stormgain cryptocurrency exchange? Stormgain is not only one of the hottest up and coming exchanges out there, it also offers several valuable perks such as a loyalty program, bonuses for referrals, annual interest on crypto deposits, and using the official app you can even begin cloud mining cryptocurrency for free today. If you're looking to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, stablecoins, or an array of other cryptocurrencies, just know that Stormgain offers a little bit more than most other exchanges, so be sure to check them out. Well, that does it for our basic Ravencoin overview and mining guide. Again, we couldn't cover it all, and there's a ton more to know about both mining and using Ravencoin. We strongly encourage you to keep doing more research on this promising asset. Furthermore, as we all know, there's changes happening all the time in the world of cryptocurrency, and you're going to want to keep up. So why not check us out at beingcrypto.com, where you'll find daily updates, analysis, and more. Also, don't forget about our other content right here on YouTube, such as interviews, educational videos, and our bi-weekly news show. And lastly, if trading is your thing, then come join our trading community on Telegram, where you'll get access to the latest technical analysis from our top traders. As always, thanks to everybody out there watching. We'll see you all right here again real soon.